Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I did Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Twin Char meetings. Let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Wow, there's something, uh, there's something strange here. I see here that there is a karmic energy. And then I see here Divine Masculine is challenging this person. So I see that this person was saying something or doing something to keep Divine Masculine stuck. And I see here that they had this feeling that the Divine Masculine would try to Fix things, meaning fix things in their personal life. So Divine Masculine, for example, if they wanted to um, get things back on track for themselves, right? So make changes in their personal life that has nothing to do with this person. So Divine Masculine wants to make things right with themselves. They want to grow. They want to change. They want to make things better for themselves. And this person wants to keep Divine Masculine stuck because they know that this Divine Masculine is eager to make some sort of change. They have this feeling that this Masculine will become much more successful at what they do or they will become successful when it comes to their life. So this Divine Masculine is challenging this person because this Divine Masculine knows that this person is not going to give up. So I see here challenging, meaning that, you know, if that's what you want to do, bring it on because I know that I can do more. I know that no matter what, there's no obstacle that will come in my way. So this of my masculine is accepting that challenge. It's like if I have to run from point A to point B, if it means that I have to carry weight on my feet and do it, I will still make it from point A to point B. It might be a little bit more tougher, but I will make my way. So I see here that these two are facing each other. They know what the other one is feeling at this time. This person is saying, I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to, to make these changes. And I'm going to remind you, there's something about trying to keep them there. I'm going to remind you of this, this, and this so that you stay put. Divine Masculine's like, okay, that's the challenge that you're giving me. But you know what? I'm still going to keep moving forward because it doesn't matter what, what you bring in front of me. I'm going to make it to point, from point A to point B. I want to make sure that I succeed. So there's, there's something about facing each other. And there's, there's no, um, it's not like trying to figure out what the other one is thinking. This person is at a place, meaning this karmic energy, this person is at a place where there's no secrets. You know, this is what I want and this is what I'm saying to your face. And Divine Masculine's like, okay, I, I know what you're saying, but you know what? That's not going to change anything. So this Divine Masculine's like, even if you have this and this to to keep me here, or to make me want to stay, whatever it is. I feel it's some sort of obligation or responsibility. That's what I'm getting. It's something that where this Divine Masculine feels held in some sort of way from a certain situation, which they accept. It's like something that they accept. Okay, if that's what you want to do, want to say, that's fine. But you know what? That's not going to, that's not going to, um, hold me back. Or prevent me from moving forward. Because it's like, I can do this. Yes, I can still do this. But I can also do this. They see it as an addition to their life. Something that they are going to move forward in. Pursue. It's like, 
say if masculine was given one specific task, it's like divine masculine, you have to do this task. And divine masculine is going outside of that task. It's like, you know what? I want to do something else. And this person is reminding them, but you have this task. Divine masculine is like, so fine. I will continue with that task, but I'm going to do what I need to do. So for example, if this divine masculine likes to play the guitar, this person doesn't want them to play the guitar. You have all these responsibilities. You have to do what you need to do. That's fine. I'll do what I need, to, what I need to do, but I'm going to play the guitar. I'm going to make time for this guitar. So it's like this masculine, I'm giving guitar as an example. It may resonate for whoever it is. That's what came to mind, but it could be like pursuing music, pursuing some kind of hobby or, or goal or, or something that this divine masculine knows that they can succeed in. They, they know that they have the, the talent. They have the skills to do it. So it's something that they're very passionate about that makes them feel good. That makes them feel like, like they're not working. Something that they have that brings them joy. So this masculine is like, I, I accept this, I accept this task, I accept this responsibility, but I'm going to keep going. Another thing I see here is that there is this, um, there is this feeling that it, divine masculine has a little bit doubt about something. It's, it's something like, can I, can I fix this? Like is meaning that whatever they're pursuing is like, can I? Fix this. It could be something that they have started before and then they, they pulled away from it or they gave up or they lost hope. It's like, can, do I still have a chance? There's that little doubt that is bothering them. But whatever it is, I feel like it's just temporary. It's just in the beginning because this masculine is still determined to move forward. I see here that the direction divine masculine takes, it will bring abundance. It will invite new people. I feel like this opportunity, this new, new venture, adventure, this divine masculine goes on. It, it looks like it will invite new people. So masculine will meet new people. Some people for divine masculine, some people who may not like what divine masculine is doing, meaning there could be a little bit of jealousy or competition. This new beginning, I see it is a, it is a direction where masculine will experience new things. I see a lot of new things here. It will help divine masculine get into their strength, strength of like confidence, decision making, um, doing things what is fair for them, being fair to themselves, giving themselves a chance. I see again divine masculine pursuing a dream. Oh, there's something. I see here that this this um this path that this divine masculine goes on, yes, they are pursuing a goal, but I see here that there is a dream here. There's some something this desire to to move towards divine feminine here. It's like when they when they go on this new path to do whatever this goal is, right? Pursue this this goal, this dream. Somehow that's gonna connect them to divine feminine. How? I'm not sure, but I see here that it's going to, it's like coming back into, it's like full circle. It's like coming back to where they began. Maybe this, this dream or this goal is something that they may have shared with Divine Feminine. They may have memories of you when they start to pursue this goal. You may have encouraged them before, but they didn't pursue it. Or maybe they were, they were, you know, doing this hobby or goal before when you two were together and now it's something about like this i'm getting that this is the thing that's going to bring divine masculine back to divine feminine this is the thing that reconnects divine masculine divine feminine whoever this resonates for there's something specific that they are going to pursue you may already know about it you may have already been a part of when they first started it this could have been something that they were doing before when they were with you and they let it go because of this karmic situation. But now that they are feeling this desire to be pulled, this is, this is why the divine God is so beautiful. 
because I feel like if Divine Masculine was shown that you need to go and, and move towards Divine Feminine, I feel like this Divine Masculine may feel hesitant. But because this has to do with um, some sort of goal that doesn't feel too overwhelming for them, too out of reach for them, it's like another way to get reconnected to Divine Feminine, you see? It's like Divine is divinely orchestrating this situation so that Divine Masculine pursues this new goal, this new interest, or returning to something that they once pursued or once did. For example, say if it is music, and that is going to reconnect them to their heart's desire. I see here connecting them to something they feel is a dream, a dream come true, a wish fulfillment. But I don't think they will, they will understand how, why things are working so well when they move in that direction of that goal. They might see it as this is meant for me. This is something that I'm supposed to be doing, which is correct. Yes. But it's also part of the path that will lead divine masculine to their divine feminine. So this is, this is the reading for today. I, I really like this reading. This is something unique. Um, if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, uh, leave a comment below, and thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye, everyone.